Hey guys, Matt McAvoy here again. In this video, um, someone asked me how would how would I make a reimbursement for moving expense um, or mileage uh, at a rate of a dollar twenty-two. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Within this video, also I'm going to show you how to have a simple drop-down box and hide where that information is coming from. Um, input some formulas. Uh, locking a cell within a formula so that every time you use the formula it's referring to certain cells and how to protect um, within protecting there's locking and unlocking cells so that other users can have access to it so right now I have a very basic um, setup of what I would use as either reimbursement or figuring out mileage for people um, it's pretty simple they would just be able to have to print this and um, sign it, get it approved by the business. Um, first thing we're going to do is the drop down box. We're going to do one for offices. Um, so over here, I'm in the print preview screen in Windows 2013. Um, this gray area is where it's not going to print. If someone prints anything, we can put any information in here. Um, and do whatever we want and it's not going to print um, you can see page one page two um, so what I would do is if I had offices if they're in different towns uh, let's say one's in Wells um, one's in Portland one is in As you can see, I am from Maine. I'm going to do a quick. Um, if you do F7, F7 is spell check. Um, spell check is good. Now, before I use this information, I want to be able to sort it. So, up here, I'm going to pin this back. I always see it. I'm going to do sort A to Z. Puts that in alphabetical order for me, which is awesome. So over here at offices, I'm going to do data, um, data validation, and just a data validation. Um, in where it says allowed, and instead of any value, I'm going to do a list. And for the source, I'm going to come over here and hit this little button. It's going to let me choose where the information is coming from. Um, just select it, then hit enter. And now you can see it equals those rows and hit OK. And now we have a drop down box with all of the offices in there. Um, all right. Now we're going to input some formulas. So. The amount column would be if they like paid for a flight and your company was going to reimburse them. Mileage is where they would enter their mileage for personal car. Um, the rate that the gentleman gave me was a uh, dollar twenty-two, so that's what we're going to use. That's the rate. So now we want all of these equations underneath here um, to equal this amount and then I'm going to hit F4 which puts dollar signs in front of F and 9 meaning every time it's going to refer to the dollar twenty-two um, and then I want it to multiply by the amount of mileage they are going to enter which they'll enter into E10 and hit enter and now because I locked that one cell always referring to a dollar twenty-two come down here and drag it and now every single time it's going to refer to a dollar twenty-two times the amount of miles they put in um, if you're reimbursing them for like a train ticket they won't put in any miles miles is just for personal car use 
Uh, last thing that I'm going to do is a total, just going to equal this amount plus this amount. And that's every single time. And hover over the bottom right corner, wait till my cursor chains, drag it all the way down. Awesome. Um, some other things that I'm going to put in is a some subtotals. So I'm going to say this is going to equal, and then I'm going to start typing sum, S-U-M. Pulls up, hit tab to select it. And then I'm going to select all of these. And hit enter. I have mine formatted to accounting. Um, how you would do that is just hit the home button and you see accounting selected. Um, if you had a box selected, you just drop this down and there's accounting. Keeps everything in the same formatting. It's really easy. Um, we'll do a subtotal for this also. Do equals SUM tab. That will show us the total mileage. This is just formatted as a number, as you can see up at the top ribbon. And then we're going to do a total of what we would owe them back. So equals the sum. All this. Awesome. So now you could save this, and an employee would be able to get it, fill in the correct information, and then print it out and uh, submit it to whoever it needs to be submitted to. Um, they can enter in any information. The problem with it right now is they could change the rate. Um, they could come in here and say, hey, I'm supposed to get $5. And that would change everything. So we don't want that to happen. We want it to stay $1.22. So we're going to do some protection and make sure that there's only certain cells that other employees can enter information in. And I've already highlighted those in um, orange. So all the orange on here is where I want other um, employees to be able to enter things. Everything else I don't want them to be able to change. Um, one of the things we're going to do first is we're going to hide where I put the office information. I'm going to select the column. I'm going to right click it up at the top and I'm just going to go hide. Now we're going to do protection. Um, we're going to select all of the orange cells So these are where I want people to be able to enter information. We're going to right click and we're going to go to Format Cells. And normally it will open up in Numbers, but we want to go all the way over to the Protection tab. And you see that they're locked. Locked cells are cells that when we protect something, you can't change them at all. But we want people to be able to change these, so we're going to uncheck Lock and hit OK. Now we are just going to simply go to Review and we're going to do Protect Sheet. Um, I want to allow all users in this worksheet to select Unlock Cells. That's all I want them to be able to do. I'm going to put in a password OK. Makes you re-enter it. Hit OK. So now that it's protected, users can come in and they cannot select any cell that's locked. They can put in their name. They can put in the date. They can put in other dates. Um, and then they can put
put in their mileage. So I did 200 miles. And look at that. It automatically takes 200 times uh, $1.22 per mile and gives us the total. Um, if there was another, like if you were reimbursing me for food and I spent 25 bucks on food, formats it, that's in our total. They cannot select anything that isn't orange. Um, and then what you could do is save this. This is now a template. Uh, they can select their office. Save it. Send it out to everyone. Everyone can use the same form every single time they're um, getting reimbursed for travel, meals, other, other work-related expenses. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. Please share. Keep in touch. Contact me on Facebook. And have a great day.